Hi, I'm Simon Scotland from the Driver Development Department at Control 4. In this video I'm going to show you how you can take an existing C4i driver for something like a cable or a satellite box and convert it into a new C4z format uh, where you can add a custom icon to display on the UIs. As you can see, I've taken the this is the driver that I wish to convert. I've taken a copy of it from my driver's folder on my computer and just put it into a folder called Driver Demo. The name of that folder doesn't really matter, just sort of stick it in there on its own. So the first thing you're going to do is actually um, rename this file. And no matter what the original file was called, you should rename it driver.xml. Because in fact a C4i file is in, uh, an XML file underneath it. So once you've changed it to driver XML, you then need a program to edit it. Now I've already downloaded a free piece of software called Foxy, that's F-O-X-E. Um, and if you download that from the internet, then you can open up the file as an XML file. And then this will show you all of the codes that you've already gone through and learnt into it. Now it's important that the before you start this process that you're absolutely happy with the the driver that all the repeats are working correctly, all the codes are working correctly, etc. Because it's not possible to edit these using the driver wizarding composer once they've been converted. Right, so if I press F8 it will format it out a little bit better, make it easier to see. Now with, there's a number of stages that we need to go through um, to make this conversion. The first thing is that the driver should have a version number associated with it. So what you need to do is you need to add a tag um, at the top of the file just under the device data with the version on it. And that's because um, Compose and Director use this to determine which is the latest version of a, of, a, of a driver. And if you need to make a revision, you'd need to come back in and increment this thing. So basically the tag is version and you start with the first one which is version 1. So stick that right under the device data there. Okay we can now move on to some of the other things that are already in the driver that we'll need to edit. The first ones are these small and large um, tags here. If you double click them in Foxy it will take you straight to them. This determines what's shown on the um, the page um, in Composer uh, for the small and large views. Now these will you, you don't have to change these, these will just show the, the standard graphics, it doesn't take it to the user. Um, but it is quite nice to, because the uh, the icons that generate will um, produce these for you. So basically the edit you need to make here, as I'll put in the new lines that you need, is that basically we're now saying that the image source for the small is inside the C4Z uh, and then we're giving the path to where this icon will be stored. Now don't worry about the path at the moment, they are the same for each driver you create and when we create the uh, the icons later those will automatically go into an icons folder. So once we've added the new ones in you can delete the old ones out like that. The second part to change is this proxy here. Um, a number of things that we can do on this line that make it easier for, for you and your um, customer. Um, and again, if I just copy in the new line, you can see it's quite a bit larger. Uh, and I'll just format that out. So basically in here, this is sort of nice thing is we should say which the proxy binding is. And then this is the name that would appear in Composer when you add the driver to the project. And again, we're saying that the image source is going to appear in Composer is contained within the C4Z. And once again, the large and small icon paths are included here. And you need to make sure that the, the proxy remains as satellite. So again, we've added that new one in. Let's delete that one out. Now, if we move down to the modify tag here, um, and it's always a good idea to make sure this is the correct date, which has to be in the US date format. Which I'm sometimes bad at remembering. There we go. So I'll put that date in there. And again, change the copyright statement here to be the correct date. And the creator can be your name, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, assuming that you've already um, named the device correctly, the, the way you like it in that, there's no need to change these these names here or model numbers. You can you can leave those the same. So that's the bits that uh, take place in Composer. We've done all of those. So then the next bit that we need to do is in this capabilities section down here is we need to add a new capability section which is to do with the, um, the navigator display option. 
So again, I'm going to copy and paste in the new stuff, like so, and then explain what it is. So basically, this is a navigator display option that's for proxy binding 5001, and that's the only proxy that's in there, which is the satellite proxy. And then we list out the display icons in the various sizes that uh, are required in, in 10 pixel steps from 20 through to 140. Then the bit that you do need to change to be um, accurate with your driver is this section here, which is basically what the C4Z driver name is going to be. So I've decided to keep this all in lower place. Um, so it's going to be um, Satellite Huawei u view um, so that's the only part that you need to change in all of these and this has to be to be exactly the same as the name of the driver that you're going to finish up with so having made all of these changes one of the good things you can do in here is to validate the xml and as you can see it says that it's valid uh, if it's not valid it will highlight where the problem is and if it's not valid then the driver don't work so always uh, always make sure you do that so then we're just going to save that out and we can close down Foxy. So we've now done the work that we need to do in the XML file. Now we need to create the icons. First thing you need to do is create a new folder called www. Um, and that's going to be the container where we keep all of our graphical elements. Then you can download from the knowledge base the C4Z image scaler and I've already prepared a logo which is 1024 by 1024 using the uh, um, Photoshop templates that we provide um, which gives you the shadowing etc that you need and I've added on top of it the, the UView logo. So if I open up the scaler I then need to choose the image so if I choose the image from the desktop and it's the UView and then I need to choose the output folder and that's on this is in here so we go down to where I put it driver demo and this www folder that we created here and then simply uh, leave the name of it as experience because that's what we've named it in the XML file and press scale image and then it says it's been successful so if we now take a look inside the www folder we now find the icons folder We'll find the small and large device images and then we'll find all of the logos and icons that we need. And that, my friends, is that. That is, that is now all the elements that we need to do to create this driver. So all we need to do is a C4Z file is effectively a zip file of these two elements. So if you highlight them, and in Windows you can just say send to compressed zip folder. So what we then need to do is make sure we can give it the correct name, which we decided earlier was this. Um, and you just need to change the extension to be C4Z rather than zip. Now you will get a warning to say that uh, you're changing the extension name. That's fine. Press yes. And there you have it. You've created your C4Z, including an icon. Load that into Composer, make the connections as usual and you'll see it on the uh, UI.